Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, Here comes three nickels. With the Foden steam wagon. The five ton. Foden steam wagon number 10530 registration PA1216 new to the Devon County Council and based in the Barnstable area until retired in 1954 purchased for preservation by the late Len Hoskin of St. Burian in 1956 in 1960, it was purchased by the Dyke family, who carried out a complete rebuild and stayed with them until purchased by the present owner in 2019. Sarah is the steering lady today on it. I think she's going to be on it all day. What a lovely little wagon that is. Capable up to about 15 miles per hour on a good day downhill with a tailwind. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Tree. Nice engine. Lovely. Now we've got a Garrett, this is a Garrett 4 CD tractor, 4.5 nominal horsepower, OU3239, built 1929. It was the last 4 CD tractor built by Garrett and was originally used for timber winching and hauling. Rescued for preservation by Jack Wakefield of Durham in 1954. Famously completed the John O'Groats to Land's End in 2006 for the present owner and has had a total rebuild owned by Colin Savage of St. Cavern. Thank you, gentlemen. James Patman, Patman at the wheel. James is chairman of the Elston Railway. So if you're on holiday, go over towards Helston in the Crown Town area and go down to uh, near Trevorno Big House and you'll find the signs to the railway they, they use a steam engine three days a week I think now we've got a lovely little miniature here and this is a little um, burlap 
agricultural engine, a miniature barrel, 1904, uh, built in 19 in 2012 by the owner. So the owner built that. Traction engine and trailer named R. Trevilli, owned by Malcolm Frost from St. Austin. They've got another beautiful little miniature. This one is a barrel crane engine. This engine is built from a kit supplied by Steam Traction World. The engine is based on the President, number 2789, which was an eight nominal horsepower compound road locomotive with three gears. Not many engines of this size were built by burrows of petrol. The rear wheels were seven foot in diameter and the front wheels had 14 spokes. Uh, these were the largest petrol built engines and Wade Loco has been adapted to represent one of the 24 crane engines to come out of the factory. Five crane engines of this size were manufactured and shipped to South Africa, but none had survived. This is based on old Tim, another barrel crane engine weighing about 800 kilograms. It has a top speed of 18 miles per hour and can lift 200 kilos on the hook, owned by Steve Trowell from the group. Now we've got uh, Mark Fellows, uh, Marshall S. Road Roller, five nominal horsepower, a year of 1926. Built for Edinburgh Corporation in Scotland and exhibited at the Royal Highland Show in the same year. Purchased in the same year from the corporation by Mr. Stan Whitfield of Darlington. Has been in the present ownership since 1993 and is owned by Mark Fellows from Hale. Now the next one coming here, the Aveling and Porter Roller is six nominal horsepower. BH7167, built 1919, near to Buckinghamshire County Council, in the present ownership since 2008, owned by Stephen and Sophie Hawkins from Weybridge. Now we've got a lovely Ransom Sings Jeffrey. General Purpose, built 1927, believed to be the only eight compound left. Came from Lincolnshire, had extra wide wheels for working on the fence. It was owned by Ryan Hawkins from St. Izzy, called Enterprise, another lovely engine. Thank you for coming. Now we've got this one here, Evening Star. This is a Fowler 12 ton DNB road roller named Evening Star. Six nominal horsepower, EJ5535. Built in 1937. This was the last engine to be built by John Fowler. Built as Fowler's complete road making machine. It worked from 1937 to its retirement in July 1962. It has had a full restoration by the present owner and is owned by Paul and Linda Wood of St. Ives. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for bringing those lovely engines into the ring. We much appreciate you coming to St. Burien.